I would like to formally apologize for leaving the red versus blue tangent out of this because Jetpack distracted me so much. What I meant to say was Chorus Arc was great. Um, 14 was an anthology season, but the anthology stuff was really cool. Season 15, silly, but you know, still enjoyable. Season 16, oh god, what a mixed bag. It has really stupid time god shit in it, but it's still funny. And then season 17 continued that, but it was better because it has some of the best character development in the series. It's weird, but, you know, roll with it. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 19 of Donkey Kong 64. Oh, God. We're in the room, are we? Yeah. We're in the room. And if you want to know what's the room, well, it's a movie, but also it is the area where I can die. Well on the inside because this golden banana for chunks can uh, go to hell okay so what you need to do is you need to carry that cannonball all the way over to here and uh, good luck with trying to figure out which button the uh, fire button is on with the cannonball yeah it's the Z button so what you have to do is you have to hit the target the moving target with the cannonball that literally goes uh, downwards. Isn't that dumb? Isn't that so stupid? Yeah, come on. Ah, can I get it on this round? Please. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, the game doesn't tell you, you know, how to fire the cannonball, you're just sort of supposed to figure it out, which is dumb. Uh, the cannonball doesn't move to the proper target area, so that's also dumb. And, you know, you have six cannonball shots, which there really should have been more than six. You know, to give you a little time to get used to the cannonball, you know? So, this golden banana can literally just go to hell. See, if the targets were any closer like this, then this would be no problem at all. But this is just like, oh god. And better yet, I think time still goes, you know, during these transitions. So, yeah, this golden banana can just die. Okay, I have one more shot to do this. Alright. Alright. Do it! Fudge! This is what I mean. This is what I mean by I can die. Oh yeah, and also, because, you know, the uh, lanky blueprint is so very easily right there, and also the Kasplat is there, you know, you have to kill that guy every time. I know it's like incredibly minor, but Jesus. Okay, one more try, and then we're going to cut, because that's ridiculous. Ooh, okay, four shots, four shots, come on, come on. Come on, man, you got this. Okay, do it. Yeah! There we go, that room can die. Yeah, this room can die. And you want to know what's also weird? So... This area is clearly meant for, you know, two people. You know, Lanky Kong because there's his blueprint because you have his blueprint and Chunky Kong because you have that dumbass uh cannonball challenge. And you know that's all well and good. However, if you go into Lanky and get his blueprint, you probably already noticed the shade of color that those bananas and coins were in. Because this is a lanky blueprint that we're getting. But these bananas were meant for tiny. And banana coins to that extension. And I don't 
get that. Like, why are there banana bunches for Tiny when this is clearly meant to be a lanky area? Like, you're probably meant to be, like, you're probably meant to assume, well, if you're going off of Jungle Japes' little, you know, thing with theming and stuff, you would know that, you know, if there is... If there is a Chris Blatt that's, like, yellow or whatever, uh, banana coins or bananas would be tied to that specific, you know, Kong to give you a tell, hey, this is, you know, an area, this is a, this is the area that, you know, DK's, uh, blueprint is in, you know? So, like, the same room with the same sort of color theming, so, yeah, you're supposed to, you know, just assume that would be a thing, but no. They just really like to place random bananas and stuff because they really, 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 really like this game. And I don't get that. I, I really don't. It's... It's freaking weird, dude. It's weird. Weird-ass placement. So weird. But I know what's not weird, though. I know what isn't weird. Well, it's the fact that, uh, well, I can just do, get this, uh, banana no problem, and also the banana bunch if I can get it without, you know, triggering the, uh, the banana port like I just did. Okay, because there's meant to be, because there's meant to be a, uh, oh god, this is meant to be a, uh, chunky balloon right here. But I think I already got it. I don't know if I if that if it was actually there, but you know, whatever. And what's weird is like you can't banana port you can't banana port while you're holding your gun. So another weird thing. But, you know, whatever. No one wants no one wants to listen to my my, my ramblings anyway. But anyway, um, there's nothing really for you for Funky. Only Candy has new stuff. But I am running low on ammo, so I might as well refuel from him. Thankfully, they're free. Free refills are a thing, and that's pretty cool. And do you want even more style mismatch? See that Diddy Balloon right there? And see those DK bananas? Or DK banana coins? Or chunky banana coins? Or whatever. See, that's a chunky area. And yet, there is a Diddy Balloon. Why? <laughs> you know, you become old enough to understand game design and you're like, uh, why is this here? Are you led to assume that, you know, are you led to assume that green colored things means there's something for chunky or... Yellow cut of things means something for, you know, DK or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what game design is. But anyway, let's get this chunky balloon right here. And I believe we're done opening up stuff. So all we really need to do is, you know, one last thing to make everything feel truly, truly complete and whole. Which is to, well, first of all, collect these, you know, banana coins. So that we can have up to 62. But also to, well, go over to the lighthouse one more time. Because there was something that I intentionally skipped. And now that it's the next video, we can go ahead and do that. Alright, so where you want to go is you want to go over to the lighthouse area, which you can easily do with the number one pad. And uh, there is a... There is a DK barrel blast thingy. So let's do it. So for this barrel blast course, you kind of have to navigate a little bit. But, lo and behold, there's also uh, bananas for you to collect here as well. Just got all over my tri my uh, tribble about, you know, bananas being in the wrong places. 
and now you have a blast course where you have to navigate. And also to get all the bananas that you need. And, of course, like a fool, I want to uh, get as many of them as possible. And also get the banana coins, too. Even though I don't really think there's any need for them at this point. <laughs> because there are more abilities coming up. But you'll be soul swimming in banana coins anyway that it doesn't even matter. Okay. So do that. Do that. Do that. Wow, I actually made it. Okay, and I believe it's the third one you want to go for. There's one... Two, three. Oh yeah, try getting. Good luck getting that one. And there we go. There we go. Behold the majestic seal. See how it gaze. See how it swims. See how it swims, and it also has. And it's also going into the ground. And now it appears over there. Because it is a magical teleporting seal. Yes. Yes. It is a magical seal indeed. Ah. Oh. Okay. So. Get these DK bananas over here. And. Get more of them over here. Because that's all we're doing. Getting all the bananas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want to go into order here. So, first of all, we'll be DK. Because he's got, you know, golden bananas to collect as well as regular ones. But, you know, since we opened up everything, we should have absolutely no trouble whatsoever. And also, I have a voice to impersonate. So, I am going to be very weird. Okay. So, if you go talk to the seal with anybody but DK, you'll get this little message. You'll get the message of... Arr! Only the good monkey who released me gets his hands on my loot! Yarl. <laughs> Pirate Sarge is my muse, my jam, my magnum opus. And my throat really does does tend to itch a little bit when I do that. Jesus. Okay. Shiver me flippers! Tis be the good monkey! Ear matey! Have some gold with the thanks from this old sea dog, Ur Seal. And also, he continues talking. I heard! Why not sail through yonder tunnel and join me in a little race? A chest of gold if ye triumph over two laps and collect ten pieces or eight along the way. Press Z to set sail and use the control stick to navigate your galleon. R turns are sharply and A turns makes ye yeet like a seal. You know, they could have explained those controls. Um... They could have explained those controls, like, during the race, or right before the race, not, you know, as you get the golden banana. Because believe me, in practice, I missed that text. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I want you to make note of this gameplay style right here, as you're zooming along, along on your uh, galleon. Just take note of it. And I want you to remember how to control it. So anyway, just like with, you know, previous races beforehand, you need to collect a certain amount of coins and then win. Uh, you'll need to go through those, you know, two balls, though. And uh, you're allowed to miss five. So what I would highly suggest that you do is... Well, go through as many as you can, obviously. And also, don't hit anything, because you'll lose a lot of coins. 
And, uh, yeah. So, you're allowed to miss five of them, so don't feel bad if you miss a few. And that should do it. We got it. And yes, this is a, one of those races where it has a sort of bad case of rubber band AI. Arr, I'd be shamed. It'd be a long while since I lost my team, but ye shall have my loot. Y'all. And also a banana. All right. All right. So. There is only one more, you know, golden banana to get before the blueprint, which we haven't even gotten yet, which we will encounter soon. And it's also in a very awkward place. So, yeah, good luck with that. Have fun. All right. So, this next one is one that you'll see plenty of gong Kongs go through. So, it's over here where we have the water raised to the appropriate level for this. Because with the water level lowered, you can access all of these. You can access Diddy, Tiny, Lanky, and DK here. Oddly enough, no Chunky here. So, for DK, what you need to do is you need to go on that music pad. Well, this is basically for any Kong, really. And that little sunken ship in the middle is where you want to go. And yes, each Kong has their own individual section for this. So have fun. Have fun with all that. So... In the good old fastened sunken ship. Which, if you have been collecting all the bananas up to this point, you probably should have at least 90 before this. And you'll want to get the rest of them here. Ow. Alright, so I believe the last of them should be here. Yep. There we go. Okay. So, it's a good thing that uh, there is unlimited air in this game. Because otherwise that would be, that would have been, ooh. God. Alright, we got another Crazy Kong Clamor. So, we have to hit 15 this time. But honestly, it's not even more difficult from the first time that we have to do this. Because, well, being real, these challenges are easy. Well, I know a particular one particular that got me, that got me, like huge. Tr that, yes, one gave me huge trouble. What's up, buddy? What's up, Binny? What are you here? Oh, it's just the TV. <laughs> Yeah, I was, while I was doing all that, uh, my dog is just like, What's that noise? What's that? What's that? I don't know, because like, he doesn't like high-pitched noises, so I feel for him. I feel for him. <laughs> but either way, we pretty much gotten all of DK's golden bananas except for his blueprint, so... We shall take care of that right now. As we head into Diddy. As we head into, you know, doing things with Diddy Kong. Oh yeah, but first... First things first. I want to check to see if there are any... Well, no. I literally just practiced this, so I... I, yeah... <laughs> actually, actually, it's over here. You see, I was thinking that the area that I wanted to go to was like 
the lighthouse area, but I want to have to actually go over here. Because, well, you have this. You have a simian spring, and there is the yellow cursed blat. Why is it here? <laughs> Why is it here when it's clearly meant to be a ditty area? Well, you'll see why in a bit, but... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> wow. Maybe that video dissecting... Oh, God. Oh, God, this one. <laughs> yeah, uh, kid gloves are off for this one. Yeah, the kid gloves are officially off because... Well, not only does Gloomy Galleon really like to press on the difficulty, but... Also comes with a really, really difficult stealthy snoop. So same rules apply. You have to sneak around these guys in order to get the golden banana at the end of the maze. But look at this. Yeah, that next section is like right out of hell. So my pro tip for you is whenever they change direction... Uh, keep out of the light, basically. Keep out of the light. So the very moment they change, you know, their course to go s to veer slightly to the right or left, you do so. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Again, the kid gloves are off for this one. Seriously, that is a mean one. That's a mean, mean one. And yes, that is literally the only reason why the number four pad is here. Because they need, they wanted to use the number four pad to, wow, oh my god, that video they keep recommending to me, Bad Game Design DK64, oh my god. They were right all along. Maybe this is a badly designed game that I just didn't know. Oh my god, my whole life has been a lie. Except it isn't because I still love this game. <laughs> I didn't even, uh, full disclaimer, I didn't watch that video, so, you know, eh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, last thing that we're going to do for today is we're going to go over to, uh, well, actually, no, because we still have, we're we still focusing on Wong Kong at a time. So, last thing that we're going to be doing is I want to take the number two pad over to the, uh, to the cave, then we're going to take the number one pad over to the lighthouse, because there is something for Diddy to do. Actually, a couple of things to do for Diddy, so we're going to do both of those. So, number one is to use his rocket jetpack to get these bananas, for one. And for two, use the jetpack again to, well, you know, do the stuff. That stuff means we're going to go to the top of the lighthouse to use uh, the guitar. Alright. Come on, little dude. Ooh, little dude! Little dude! And I just realized what golden banana this was. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, Let me see. Do I have enough ammo? Yeah, I do. Okay, because let's just say you're going to need your peanut popcorns for this one. You are really, really, really going to need them. Okay, so what that did for Diddy was unlock that cage so that this little mechanical fish right here could be opened up and released onto Gloomy Galleon. And what you need to do is you need to enter said thing. And look at this. You're going so small! How? I don't understand. But what I do understand is that this 
Hello. Is that this little bunny, that little bee, bee, bunny. This bee needs to die. Okay. So, what you need to do here is to shoot these things. To shoot these little sections that are cardboarded up. In order to deactivate the fish. And, uh, yeah, the little pattern goes in like so. Bottom first, and then top two. Which is weird, but, you know, okay. And actually, that actually presents an apt strategy, actually. So, we're allowed to miss one anyway. And you can only hit one of them at a time. So, all you really need to do is to, well, not waste any ammo for one. And for two, uh, yeah, and for two, just keep your aim straight. And trust me, you're going to need that ammo upgrade if you hadn't gotten it already. Because I almost ran out of ammo. Alright, so you're going to need to do this three times per... And the last one is over here. Which means we just gotta wait a little bit. And there we go. Well, we sort of deactivated the little fish dude. I guess. Yay? I mean... By all accounts, it should still be active, but it isn't. So, yay! <laughs> yep. It's all deactivated. It's all good. It's okay. It's fine. Anyway, we're all done with our... We're all done with making good, good progress with Gloomy Galleon today. So, we're going to make even more next time on the next time of DK64. So, I will see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.